Hi guys and welcome to the Feral Druid Guide in 7.3 for single target and AoE rotation and how to maximise your DPS. So first of all I'm going to be going through the single target legendaries and talents. So if we start off, the legendaries you want to be using are for Feral are 100% you want to be using the ring which gives you increased um, energy and your maximum energy because it's just going to increase your DPS a lot. The next one's really down to you. But um, a lot of people use the Luffer wrappings or the helmet because, you know, finishing moves extend the duration of Tiger's Fury by 0 0.5 seconds per combo point spent. But it's really down to you. I've seen a lot of people using different ones, but they're all using the ring. So for the moment, I'm using um, Lady and the Child due to the fact that with your single target legendaries, you want to be using Lunar Inspiration all the time because it deals a lot of damage and it deals a combo point. So you just want to be using that a lot because it's going to deal a lot of damage tied in with the uh, Lady and the Child. And it's just really good for single target. Next, what you want to take is a uh, Wild Charge due to the fact that you can leap onto an enemy. So if you have to switch, you can quickly leap. The next, what you want to take is Balance if any due to the fact it's going to increase the range of all your abilities by 5 yards. Which is obviously really, really good. And, you know, you could take Guardian for... Defensive or restoration, but balance is really really good because it's going to increase your DPS because you can do uh, You can do spells closer Next one's down to you. I just like taking mass entanglement just because it CC's more and it's stronger than typhoon um, Next one's down to you, but you have to take Incarn Due to I'm using the soul of the arc druid. I've all also got soul of the forest due to the fact that it's just going to um, increase my DPS when I do my uh, savage roars and my rips so it's kind of like um assassination in a way you want to keep up rip but you were also on the target and you also want to keep savage raw so that your finishing moves are dealing more damage so um yeah so you take savage raw because finishing move that grants 15 percent increased damage tied in with that soul of the forest my common points are going to be dealing 20 percent more damage next what you want to take is um omen of clarity so um, as you can see, it's Omen of Clarity now triggers 100% more often, stacks up to two times, increase the damage of your next thread, slash or, or swipe by 20%. So how you want to do this is, before you enter a fight, you want to um, be regrowthing, and then going into cat form, prowling, and starting off with a rip, rake. Sorry, You want to keep rake up as much as possible. As soon as I come out, I use a um, Ashmane's Fury, so I can get um, Savage Roar right up already. And then I can start using combo points. So you want to keep up, um, you want to keep up rake on the target as much as possible, and also rip the target. So you want to keep up rip as much as possible. So as you can see, keep up rip. And when you get an omen of clarity, you always need to be using it on shred. So your first priority is making sure that you have um, savage roar up, and then your next priority is keeping rip on the target. And then in that downtime, you can literally just be doing. Um, Furious Bite. Also, you want to make sure you're using your full uh, Tiger's Fury. And when you've got Burst, you can use Incarn. So you're doing really, really big damage. And when you've got Incarn up, you just want to make sure, you know, you're getting really big damage off. Using your Savage Draw. You also want to be using your um, mo uh, Moonfire as well. Because obviously we have the shoulders on. So you want to deal big damage with that. So just making sure you keep up your Savage Draw. And just keep ripping the targets. Especially when you have a loon, you're going to have a lot of energy. So you just want to keep bumping it down. And just make sure you're keeping up all your dots as well. And make sure you're using Moonfire as much as possible. Because you've got the shoulders on. So you want to do really big damage. So it's really quite simple now, um, Feral. But you just want to make sure you're keeping everything up. Especially when you've got single target. You want to make sure you're keeping up all your spells. But as you can see, you can do really, really big damage. Especially tied up in the ring, you're going to have a lot of energy. But when you're using all your cooldowns and your burst is going to be really, really bit good. So you want to make sure you're using uh, Tugger's Fury all the time. So with Feral, you're just, you know, you've got a lot of, um, you've got a lot of burst and you just got to make sure you're keeping it all up so you can do really big damage. But yeah, the shoulders aren't ideal, but obviously I don't have a lot of legendaries for Feral. But I'm just outlining the, um, outlining what you want to do. So for your next talents for AoE, uh, you want to be taking wrists. For increase the damage and radius of Thrash by 75%. So instead of um, Shred now, you want to be using uh, your... You want to be getting up uh, your free stacks of Thrash on the target at all times. And then you just want to start swiping and swiping. You don't have to get, uh, matter that much about Rake. You just want to make sure you keep up Swipe and Thrash. 
Make sure the target has um, all the frash and then just start hitting them. The next one, what you want to do is um, you want to use Luffaz and the ring again. Just for that increased energy so you can deal really, really big damage. And for your talents, you want to be taking Lunar Inspiration again, especially with the shoulders. Because we're going to do big, big, big damage. And obviously with the shoulders, it's going to hit nearby targets as well. So we're going to get even more combo points. Um, next, Wild Charge again, so you can charge up to um, adds and stuff like that. Balance Finity again, so you can be closer and you can just uh, deal big, big, big uh, damage from far away. Next one, Mass Entanglement. Yeah, it's just down to you, whatever you want to take. Incarn again, just because it gives us so much energy and increases your maximum energy, and we're just going to do big, big damage. But the one change is that you want to take Brutal Slash, um, due to the fact that it's going to be doing really, really big damage, and... It's going to hit all the targets. So you see it's re replaced um, It's replaced swipe now. So once you've got your two stacks of um, fresh on the target, you just want to start using brutal slashes. Because that's gonna, it's like a whirlwind. It's going to hit all the targets around and it has lots of targets. Um, you want to take Omen of Clarity again because that procs with um, obviously fresh and brutal slash. So you're going to be doing big, big damage. So you want to start off in, in uh, cat form again, in stealth, and then just rake the target. And then you want to be thrashing. You also want to try and keep up rip as much as possible. And try and rip the, the targets all around, so make sure you use rip. And make sure you're using your, um, when you get an omen of clarity, try and use it on a thrash. So now you can see I'm just going to put up, um, just dot up all the targets. Because obviously the more you dot, it's just the bigger your DPS is going to be. Because they're all going to be bleeding and your, ads are, your dots are going to be ticking. So you just want to be using Thrash and then Brutal Slash when it's up. So just Thrash, Thrash, Thrash. Use up my um, Moonfires. And Rip. And Thrash, 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 Thrash. Make sure all the stacks are kept. Rip. And just make sure all the targets are ripped. And once they're all ripped, you can start using um, Furious Bite again. And just hit them all. Make sure they're all dotted. If they're all Thrash, you're going to be getting really big combo points. So just make sure everything's thrashed and it's ripped and you'll be getting really, really big damage out. And just get a lot of energy. As you can see, my damage is building up. Especially for fights like Coven, um, Feral is really, really good. So just use now all my abilities, make sure everything's thrashed, rip everything up. And just deal really big damage. Rip everything and I'm going to be doing really big dot damage to every single target. And yeah, the more, um, the more targets you hit with your Brutal Slash and Thrash, the more combo points you're going to get and the more dots you can put out. So that's it for Feral. It's gone back to a classic style with the uh, Savage Roar with single target. It's kind of gone back to how it was in Pandaria, but the AoE's obviously changed with Brutal Slash and Thrash and stuff like that. So yeah. And that's it for the Feral Druid. Like and comment if you think I've done anything and I've missed anything. And see you in the next one.